I'm Shan, this is Shani Reads. It's Friday the 21st of June. I'm going to do a book haul and then I'm going to tell you about what I'm going to read this weekend. Um, yes, I have got a few new books. So I got this one in the mail this morning and this is Mostly Dead Things by Kristen Arnott. This was one I've been kind of umming and ahhing about getting because I think it's just available in America. It was a little bit expensive, but I kind of felt like I was going to really like it. And so I got it. The cover is so good, but then when you open it, it's got the most beautiful pink cover as well. It's kind of, I read a review that compared it to Karen Russell and Joy Williams, um, it, which kind of made me want to read it. It's also blurred by Karen Russell and Alexandra Chi and Jamie Attenberg. It, um, she's a queer writer and it's set in Florida in a taxidermy shop where her father has just committed suicide. And I think it's going to be good. Let me know if you've read it. I don't think I've shared this one before. Maybe I have, but uh, anyway, it's The Castle on Sunset by Sean Levy and it's Love, Fame, Death and Scandal at Hollywood's Chateau Marmont. Um, blurbed by Cheryl Strayed, who seems to be blurbing everything. I think she's blurbed, blurbed a couple more of these ones. Um, but, you know, I love a bit of Cheryl and I'm I'm ready to trust her. So this is um, non-fiction about this uh, hotel. I know that it's got a chunk on um, Eve Babbitt's in. Who else? I mean, it's probably got uh, Mick Jagger, I would imagine. It's got Hugh Hefner in there. Should I look? Should I just check if it's got uh, Mick? Yeah. Oh, no, it doesn't. It has Bianca Jagger. Even better. So I think that one is going to be fun. Um, I've also got Inheritance, a memoir of genealogy, paternity and love. And this is by J Danny Shapiro. So I've only read one of her other books, which is Hourglass, a story of her, um, like a story of her marriage. And I loved that one. It was one of my favourite books the year that I read it. I thought her writing was so beautiful. And this one just looks really interesting. Um, and it's about her father. And she discovers after he's died that he wasn't her father. And then I think goes into sort of investigating it. It's just come out in paperback here in um, the UK on Daunt Books. Um, Cheryl Strader says she's a writer of rare talent. I've got Don't Touch My Hair by Emma Dabiri, which looks really interesting. And she's a, a black um, British writer and it's talking about her hair. Um, it says that black hair is never just hair. And I think it's like a history of uh, black hair but then also goes on to say to talk about um, far from being only hair, black hairstyling culture can be understood as a blueprint for decolonization and as an allegory for black oppression and ultimately liberation. So I just think this one looks really interesting. Um, and there's a reading group in Cardiff who are reading this one. Um, my friend Laura wanted to go. So if I read it, um, we might go to that and you know, discuss. Oop. I've got Radical Candor by Kim Scott, How to Get What You Want by Saying What You Mean. This is like a leadership book. Um, I've been doing this leadership course and um, everything we've referenced has been written by a guy, possibly in the 70s or if not before. And I was really interested in reading books by women. Um, and this sounds good. She has worked for Google and Apple. And um, I also saw on Bryce Dallas Howard's Instagram that she was holding up that book. So... I've also got this beautiful book, which kind of almost matches. So this is an art book, but I think it's available to buy because it's got an ISBN and it's called Undo Things Done. And it's by Sean Edwards um, and it says Cymru and Venice, Wales and Venice. So Sean Edwards is an artist and he um, is rep currently representing Wales in the Venice Biennale. So if you happen to be going to the Venice Biennale, go and look at his work. Um, Sean gave me this book because he um, has also been artist in residence in St. Fagans, where I work, and a lot of his like research that he did on the residency has informed this exhibition. So it looks great. I'm hoping to go in, out there and see it, but I don't know if I'll be able to. But this book is like a... Um, it's really lovely. It's like images, and then it's also got text in it, which I think is like different essays by people which reference his work. So I know that there's one about quilts in here that someone I work with has written. And I think there's some stuff about, there's like some poetry and also some kind of stuff about um, housing as well. So like council housing, it looks really good. And then I've got this one, which I've started and it's City of Girls by Elizabeth Gilbert. Um, I love Elizabeth Gilbert. I love um, Eat, Pray, Love. Um, I love the film as well. I really enjoyed her book on creativity. I think she's great. Uh, I wasn't sure about getting this one. And then um, 
I heard like what it was about and it sounded really fun. So it's like set in the 40s. It's about a young girl who's like 18 and she's like flunked out of college. And so she goes, she's sent to stay with her aunt in New York and her aunt is kind of leukemian and has like a, um, a theatre troupe. Um, and yeah, I've started it. It's just really charming and funny. I'm not sure where it's going to go, but I'm really enjoying it so far. And it's just like a perfect book for like reading in bed because I find it... <laughs> I sometimes find it hard to switch off um and this has been really helpful in that just enjoying something so it's kind of yeah I don't have to put too much effort into reading it but it's still really well written really well written um I'm enjoying it so far so then my new books and then the books I'm reading one of them I'm reading is Pleasure Activism The Politics of Feeling Good which is written and gathered by Adrian Marie Brown I'm really enjoying this so far but it is one of those like I'm saying I need this to switch off if I read this before bed my brain is just like going into overdrive because there's lots of ideas it's really great in that kind of show pointing you to different um ideas and theories and writers and I'm just really enjoying it there's a um an essay called The Eroticist Power by Audre Lorde which Adrian Marie Brown talks about as being like the seed for the book and that was really interesting um I've just read a book uh, an essay by what's her name, Alexis Pauline Gums, which was great. She talks in it about sistering, how you kind of, um, you have to have intentional foods that support our spirit and sistering seeks speaking, even when it's been many months between our conversations. Um, she says it's like taught her to not wait until work brings us to the same city, but to intentionally make a phone date. Sistering begets more sisters and mothers and fathers and brothers. So if you want to do some sistering, I'm here for it. And then the other one I'm reading this one, which is On Being Human, A Memoir of Waking Up, Real Life, Living Real and Listening Hard by Jennifer Pasteloff. Um, I haven't read that much of it. I was also reading Afterglow by Eileen Miles, which I've just finished, and I was getting a bit confused about who the whose family was who. So um, I finished that one and now I can focus properly on this one. It's really good so far. She's um, talking about how she was deaf as a child but didn't really not like profoundly but uh quite deaf but didn't really know that that wasn't what everyone was like so she had like really bad tinnitus but never talked about it and then I think her hearing's got progressively worse and that is part of her listening hard is that when she talks to people she has to like um I think she can hear a bit but then she also lip reads and about how she's really focused on what they're saying and how important that is so that's that one as well um if you've read any of these let me know there's some kind of delicious new hardbacks there. Um, I'm going to have to go on a little bit of a book buying break now for maybe the rest of the summer. But yeah, I will see you soon. Let me know what you're reading this weekend. Bye.